All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master, and today we're gonna to take a look at what's going on around the shop. All right, Eric's knocked out some work today. Uh, the last thing he's gotta do is finish up this sob. Uh, some boost codes, it's a sob, so sob story. This is actually, I actually think this was the same sob that was in another video where you put in a radiator, but now it's got boost codes, so anyway. It's fixed, we'll test drive it tomorrow, it'll be done. But he's knocked out a bunch of work, you know, keeping busy. All right, this bay is empty for me. Late today I had a car come in for grinding brakes. Pep Boys just did the uh, front brakes, you know. Pulled it in. Rear brakes are grinding, drum brakes. He had to have his car back, so I had to put it back together, put it outside, and he called and said, oh, I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow, so. On that note, I also had a different car come in for brake inspection where, well, they said it needed brakes, same people, and fronts were at six mil, rears were at five, inside and outside pads. I hope they just did the glance through the wheel and just misjudged it, because otherwise, you. All right, Jeep Patriot, gravy train. I've got history with it. I did a throttle body on it last visit. Came in for an oil change, whirring noise, and PTI. Check engine light too, but the check engine light wasn't on, no codes. So anyway, Test drove it, yeah, the front wheel bearings are screaming. One of the struts was leaking on the front, one of the struts on the rear was leaking, control arm bushings were torn, spark plugs were due by mileage, needed filters, wiper blades, and they bought it all. I'm like, okay. So I'm waiting on one strut to go in the back. And if you see the Monroe quick struts, we had a nightmare finding parts for this thing. For whatever reason, parts aren't available. I mean, even doing, I think KYB single struts weren't available. It was just, I, we got what we could. I ha it has to go tomorrow, so we got what we could. We also put new complete spindles on from Chrysler because, well, that bearing sucks to do because I almost broke my hub grappler last one I tried to do, and Chrysler sells the complete spindle cheap. So it got us two new spindles, gravy. All right, Craig, the new guy, got this little uh, piece, typical Nissan, the uh, heater hose coupler is leaking. He's got to replace that. He wrote it up for valve covers, they declined that but they're doing tie rod ends and removing locking lug nuts because they don't have the key. So he's got a nice little ticket for tomorrow. That's his roll cart, by the way. Craig, not Greg, Greg's gone. All right, Aaron has had an interesting week. For the first part of the week, he was actually downstairs in the lower shop. Uh, Zach took a couple days off and they kicked him downstairs and you know, he was doing a bunch of work down there, did a Honda timing belt. Up here, <laughs> he's doing window regulators, window switch on this Hyundai, did alternator and cooler lines on a Tahoe earlier. You know, he's knocking stuff out. Billy has uh, got an empty bag. He knocked a bunch of stuff out, but he's at a point where he doesn't have parts. <laughs> So, but he's got this forerunner, condenser, compressor, compressors failed, brakes, fun stuff. All right, Cole, the BMW master, has two BMWs. One, this one right here, when it came in was smoking like a chimney, uh, got a bunch of oil leaks, BMW. Uh, filter stands leaking, valve covers leaking, oil pans leaking. Uh, I think it's got some coolant leaks. The 
Drive belt tensioner is failing, starting to kick out. So waiting on approval on that. That one right there uh, is replacing the radiator on. That's sold, waiting on parts. So he'll just start on that tomorrow. But some good work in the shop. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.